Just one of them. What's up you guys? It's Katie. Welcome back to Still the Spotlight. Today I'm finally doing the accessories video that has been very highly requested recently and I'm so pleased that you guys are excited for this. I honestly was starting to feel like if this wasn't the next video I posted, people were gonna start coming for me, so hopefully you enjoy. Okay, first category we gotta jump into is jewelry, specifically earrings, because I feel like that's what I get the most questions about and is definitely the one accessory I feel naked without. These days it is very rare that I actually wear a matching set. I just like to mix it up and obviously it does does depend on the fact that I do have two piercings in each ear so it really means that I get to have some fun with layering them up as well. Obviously there is absolutely no rules to this but something I usually keep in mind is just the fact that I don't want two dangly ones together because I find that they can kind of cancel each other out and then they don't have the same impact so usually I'll go for one dangly one closest to the face and then something a little bit chunkier like a hoop on the outer piercing. Since I have been building up this silver collection for quite a while some of the earrings are like two three years old no longer available so I'm sorry I don't have links for everything but anything I do will be listed in the description box along with any similar options I find as well but recently I would say my best bet has been on yes style because everything is super super affordable when it comes to silver accessories and they're actually like the same quality that you pay if you're buying from like the Australian boutiques and everything like that they're, they're exactly the same product but one is three dollars and one is 40 so it's up to you. <laughs> Along with the earrings, I'm also trying to get on board with that like, I guess like e-boy, e-girl aesthetic that's so hot right now, which is like layering a bunch of chains. I love that look and I still have a long way to go. I only have a few key pieces, which again, some from YesStyle and I'm eyeing up some more that are currently in my safe to later. I mean, come on, I don't even have the classic padlock chain, so clearly I am just some sort of imposter. <laughs> but it is not enough just to wear them around your neck. Of course, you also need the pant belt chains as well. Honestly, in the beginning, I only had ones that came free with a pair of cargo pants, but I have upped my collection since then. And if you've been on my channel a while, then you know my favorite way to include these in an outfit is also to hang them off like my crossbody bum bag situation as well. I get so many questions about that. It is just the original from Pretty Little Thing and then I add the extra chain to it. And I guess like in real life, that is pretty much the only bag that I actually wear. Sometimes I even just wear it as like a little mini handbag as well. But honestly, best purchase ever. It goes with all of my looks practically. Although 80% of the time, I'm probably doing some sort of silver combination. Every now and again, there's an outfit that requires gold instead. So if you guys are more of a gold person, then these are my go-tos. For some reason in my brain, when I switch to gold, I also switch to more of a dainty sort of aesthetic, I suppose. Like I'm not gonna go for really chunky necklaces all layered on top of each other. I might still do a bit of a layered situation, but there'll be like a really fine chain. And the same goes for earrings as well. I just try to keep it a little bit more minimal. Also, if I'm styling gold, especially if it's more of a neutral color palette to the outfit, I'll often include some kind of pearl accents as well. I think that that can be a really nice fit in touch as well. Another category that I'm clearly very high on is hair clippies and I will wear these with literally anything and I have been for quite a while. It was kind of before they became really popular so they weren't really accessible online yet and honestly the best place to get them is just up at your local cheap shop, the dollar store, they have you covered. You guys know that section that is just like really tacky kids accessories. Yes, that's where you wanna be. That is like the perfect aesthetic when it comes to hair clips. Plus they're super affordable, hence why I have accumulated quite a number of them. Obviously they're most associated with that Y2K princess sort of theme at the moment. So for that, I usually like to use lots of different colored ones. And I mean, hello, would you look around? I love a matchy matchy color moment. I literally have the brain of a preschooler, so right up my alley. But my most worn would have to be these silver ones. You guys see me in them 
all the time and they're definitely like a less in your face tacky approach to the trend I suppose and they totally remind me of the ones that Jenny wears as well which is originally why I picked them up and I got these just from Priceline I think the brand was like Lady Jane so pretty much it's just a brand that you find at local chemists and drugstores depending on the sort of accounts you follow on Instagram though I feel like perhaps the most popular style at the moment are like the gold pearl tortoiseshell that sort of style which in that case I do find harder to buy in store for a reasonable price so again I turn to yes style <laughs> I guess continuing on with the headwear sort of category, obviously, hats, duh. Duh. This one is probably very take it or leave it. I know some people just don't care for them, but personally, I've always loved wearing hats and trust me, I've got quite the collection as you can imagine, but some of my favorites at the moment are definitely a bucket hat, which I never thought I would say, but just one of the many ways that K-pop has ruined my life. <laughs> Also berets, which obviously had like a big moment a few years ago, but I just never stopped wearing them. If you're more into just a classic cap, that always used to be like my least favorite, but I've really been coming on board with that more recently. Oh, and actually to add on to that, like K-pop made me buy it. I could do a whole video on that, trust me, but also like they're really thick, headbands as well. I've been starting to get on board with that too and they're actually really fun. I just feel like hats and headwear in general are actually quite a powerful accessory. Like they can really transform your look and just take it in a completely different direction by just adding one simple hat. Okay, I nearly forgot this one, but glasses slash sunglasses. I have like a whole tub full of them and it is not very often that you will actually see me wearing them on my eyeballs. Like usually they are on my head as a headwear accessory once again, or like obnoxiously on the tip of my nose. I know I hate me too. I think for a lot of us, sunglasses are really fun and easy accessory to play around with. My go-tos at the moment are these two pairs of kind of like black 90s ones, both of which are thrifted slash one I got from my iGirl bundle, so also vintage. I know the little sunglasses trend is kind of dead now, but I'm still really enjoying these two pairs and then I also really like wearing like actual glasses spectacles I guess you would refer to them as um, especially if I'm not wearing any makeup that day because it kind of like hides my under eye circles a little bit so for some reason when it comes to those I'm the opposite and instead of the really little sunglasses I just like giant oversized ones but I think glasses is a really personal one where you kind of have to play around with what works best on your face shape and sometimes you really can't tell until you just try them out okay let's circle back to bags now and and like I said, I pretty much exclusively wear that damn bum bag from Pretty Little Thing, but I never actually wear it on the waist as a bum bag slash fanny pack, whatever you want to call them. So when I do want something that kind of cinches in at the waist, I actually use this one that I thrifted and it is like a long cross body bag, but I just thought this was a good one to mention just to keep in mind that you don't have to wear things the way that they are originally intended. As we are well aware, I also enjoy dressing like a five year old. So I find this white mini backpack comes in handy for those more like cutesy, youthful vibes, I suppose. And then when I'm back on that like summer holiday in Europe vibe, I always pull out my trusty old cane circle bag. And I've had this for a couple of years now. I feel like they were a trend a little while ago, but honestly, they still look really cute if you are going for that sort of overall vibe. Next up, I wanna talk about belts. And to be fair, recently, most of the time, I'm just tying a white shoelace around my waist and calling it a day, but I feel like that still counts, right? But honestly, for the most part, I feel like belts are one of those accessories that are just stupidly overpriced a lot of the time. So I would highly, highly recommend trying to thrift some because I feel like that's where you find the most unique options. But obviously picking up a plain black belt, you really can't go wrong. Just make sure that you're paying attention to the color of hardware is on it, depending on if you wear more silver or gold. And also side note, because it's not helpful unless you live in Brisbane or Perth, I believe, but the store or cheap, like cheap, cheap, buddy. Um, they sell belts that are really, really cool for like 10 bucks. Actually, all their accessories are pretty affordable. So if you are in Brisbane or Perth, definitely hit them up. I kind of feel like I'm forgetting something, but I think this is my last point for now, which is harnesses. Um, again, not fun. That is going to be for everyone, which is why I've left it to last. But this is something that I really, really love styling recently. Um, whether you want to kind of toughen up a more feminine outfit 
or if you just want to go like all out i love it for an all black look as well it just looks so badass this more heavy duty one is what i typically style more with all black outfits and this one i picked up when i was over in korea but i'll try and link something similar and then i have this more strappy option from nasty gal which is less intense i suppose which just makes it easier to team with those more girly pieces and then i guess i could include this here slash in the bags category as well and i believe it is what you call a chest rig i don't know for sure i'm not cool enough to be part of like the tech wear subculture but i do absolutely admire their style and this is something that i've tried to kind of slowly introduce into my wardrobe and so far i'm really enjoying this piece but yeah i think that's it for my go-to accessories collection hopefully you guys got some ideas on where to find some pieces and how to style them to kind of elevate i don't know i don't like that that sounds pretentious but just like spice up your wardrobe I didn't include shoes, so let me know if you want to see a whole other part on shoes or if you want to see one on like finding your personal style or I mean any other requests. I am all ears as always. But thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Mwah.